All right, so we finally have our first kind of working Gcam build for the Microsoft Surface Duo. Now, why do I say it's kind of working? It's not because it doesn't actually work really well because it actually works really well. For those of you guys that have tried some of the other ports that exist out there in the world, you know that the screen is all scrunched up. There's all sorts of weird things going on with those ports. Well, with this version, you don't get any of those problems. Everything looks quite good. Everything moves around and, and there's really no glitches to speak of at all. So why do I say it kind of works? Well, this is a port of Gcam Go, which is the Gcam version that is made for lower end devices. Don't know why this is the one that works, but it does. What are we missing here? We're missing HDR and HDR+, Plus, which is the main selling factor for the Gcam camera app. So I've got it installed. I've taken a bunch of sample pictures. First, I want to show you the pictures it has taken versus the stock app, and then we'll talk further about sort of how it works in general from there. All right, so first photo here, Steph done in the backyard, took a picture of the big tree in the backyard that I like to use for some of these sample images. This is the Gcam Go photo. So the first thing I notice is I'm getting some graininess here in the darkness. If I zoom in here, what's the, what's the level of detail look like? Not super great, but it's, it's fairly sharp for an 11 megapixel sensor that isn't a pixel. This is the stock version. Now keep in mind, I have HDR turned on on the stock app. So you are getting the benefit of HDR on the stock app and no HDR on the Gcam version. So in terms of brightness, this is brighter. In terms of dynamic range, the stock app looks better right now. Once we get HDR and HDR Plus working, this will change. But I feel like you need to see the best that the Gcam can offer right now versus the best that the stock app can offer right now. Let's zoom in here and see what the level of detail looks like. It's pretty comparable. I'm not seeing anything that absolutely blows me away. But in this instance, I think that the stock app probably takes the better photo. All right, how about on this one? This is a very bright image. The details on the bottom look um, pretty sharp, if not over sharpened. They almost have an over sharpened look. This is the Gcam app. This is the stock app. HDR is helping a ton. You get a lot more details in the dark areas and the shadows, in particular in the clovers. Colors are about the same either way. But again, the stock app does look better to my eye. Picture of my boy Rutherford here standing outside the back door. And looks fine. You get, interestingly enough, on this one, on the stock app, I don't know if it, I don't think he was moving at all, but for some reason we've lost some detail in his fur. Again, the HDR looks better, but this picture looks a little bit sharper, in particular around his face. That could have just been there could have been movement or something that I just didn't notice. Here is your obligatory selfie. This is the Gcam. I think it looks fine. If you jump over to the stock app, wow, that looks like the same exact picture. I promise I did actually change apps for these two pictures. How about portrait mode? This is the Gcam app's portrait mode, and this is not great. Um, I'm, I'm blurred here in the hair. There's a weird cutout missing there, cutout missing there. Around my hair is not good. Uh, maybe in better lighting, better scenario, whatever, maybe it'd be better, but this is not a great portrait on the stock app. It is actually better. There's, it's not screwing up on any of these cutouts anywhere. It's closer to the hair. Um, overall, the stock app looks better there as well. Here's the one place where the Gcam port is going to be better in terms of image quality right now without HDR. It has an actual night mode. So here is a shot in the, my studio here right behind me. I shut off all the lights, turned on night mode on the Gcam port. This is the shot I got with Gcam. I mean, it's grainy, but you can see things. And in my comparison, here is the stock app. It is extremely dark, extremely grainy. You can't really see anything. So I mean, is this an amazing picture? No, but compared to that, it's a much improved picture. So where does that leave us? To me, the Gcam Go port Picture for picture, your stock app is going to do you better. The question you're going to have to ask yourself is, how is the stock app performing for me? Lots of people are reporting 
massive amounts of shutter lag and general glitchiness in that camera app. I would suggest maybe you should clear storage, try resetting it, or even factory reset your device because that is not the experience that I have had. For me, the stock app has been extremely responsive. Not a lot of shutter lag. I mean, no more than, than you know I've seen in some older phones. There is some shutter lag, but it's not terrible, even with HDR turned on. If your stock camera app has been relatively bug-free, you're probably gonna wanna just stick with that until the HDR version is working. If that has not been your case, this Gcam Go app is gonna work really well for you. It is really close to the same as far as image quality goes. And if you turn off HDR on these on the default app, it's gonna be basically punch for punch. It's gonna be a very similar photo. And something that's really good about it, and I guess I can I can show you this here. If I open this up and if I take a picture, you can see the shutter like here. I mean that's pretty much non-existent shutter lag. So if you've been having those shutter lag issues and you just want a camera that you think is gonna work well. I've seen no bugs out of this Gcam Go while I've been testing it throughout the course of the day. So definitely worth checking it out. I'm gonna throw a link to it in the comments down below. Actually, what I'll do is I'll just link to the Reddit post that I'm getting this from. So full credit to formerly known as Reddit user, and I will link to this, to this Reddit post so that you'll see um, this and you'll see the discussion going on in the comments down below. So all right, guys, a little Surface Duo update. Hope you guys enjoy it. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends. If you enjoy my content, please consider becoming a Scary If Literal member. You'll get access to a whole bunch of emoticons to use with live streams and a shout out on an upcoming video. Thanks as always for your continued support.